today um, I wanted to do a video comparing uh, buying a fender strap and a knockoff strap. Um, I won't go into kind of the sound because that's pretty subjective. Um, I think the fender straps sound better obviously. Um, yeah, that's all up to kind of your amp and what pickups your fake one has and all that kind of stuff. What pickups your fender has. Yeah, I won't go into that. Um, just to compare these two, this isn't a very good comparison because this is a really cheap knockoff and this is a Highway 1 um, American strap. Um, but yeah, so straight off the bat, um, so yeah, I'll be going into kind of the hardware because that's the stuff that yeah gets me. Um, I guess I'm a bit autistic with that kind of stuff. Um, I've obviously tried to do some stuff with this and given up because it's just anyways um, but yeah ultimately the uh, fender this one comes with a single piece body um, some of the cheaper ones come with like a three piece body this one comes with like I don't even know how many pieces but it's like five at least yeah there's at least five pieces there um, which means I guess it's just not one solid piece of wood but that's fair enough because with an electric guitar most of your sound comes from the pickup um, there's a big debate on whether the tone wood has any effect. I'm not going to go into that. Um, but yeah, so this one, uh, the machine heads just either barely work or don't work at all. Like um, some of them lose tension and kind of loosen. It won't keep tune if you buy a fake one. This is a this is a Monterey strap. Um, pretty sure it's made in China or Malaysia or something like that. Um, I think they sell them at JB Hi-Fi in Australia. Um, it's it's I wouldn't even get it like it's not even a good starter guitar. Just to yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So the the machine heads are terrible. Uh, they don't keep tune. They don't do a whole lot of stuff. Um, the neck. Um, every single one in the shops is bent. So like bowed or uh, whatever the other one is. Um, yeah, they're just they're just not good. Um, the truss rod doesn't actually do anything. Like I'm pretty sure that's just a, a nut in there, like a thing. Um, adjusting it doesn't change the neck at all. It will just always be um, not straight, um, which is really annoying because it'll give you like buzzes around the higher frets here, um, and sometimes the lower frets. Uh, it's not very nice. Um, it must be noted that the the pickup selection. Is quite fantastic on this. Um, the pickups aren't as fantastic. Um, the tone and volume knobs are the pots are really clean. Like that's that's better than this one. Um, this one is a fair bit older, but yeah, these these pots are really nice. Um, the strings that came with this one are obviously horrible, but um, you just change them out. Um, it did come with a tremolo arm, which is quite nice. Um, this one didn't, but um, yeah, whatever. Um, the input jack is really like rattly um, and cracky, so that's a that's a negative. Um, as for kind of everything else, you can learn on this guitar. I'd get something else, like maybe even like a uh, a Fender Squire. I would go for because you don't have as many of the neck issues, and the machine heads are real. Um, so that's always nice, um, but yeah. As for this one, you got a solid body, you got a, a really nice neck where the truss rod actually works. You got machine heads that are that work and stay in tune and don't lose tension. You've got really nice pickups, um, pickup selector that obviously works the same. Uh, the, the pots, for some reason, on these American fenders aren't fantastic. I don't know what that is for. Maybe it's rusty in Australia. No idea. Um, and they come with nice strings. Um, strings are not really that much of an issue, though. Um, yeah, that's uh, yeah. So if, if I were you and thinking of getting either a Fender or a Squire um, or a cheap, or like a really cheap, like sub one hundred dollar. Um, knockoff electric. I would definitely go for the Fender or the Squire. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way um, and I've never been paid by them 
but uh, yeah, the, the bridges are all kind of average on the knockoff, so you don't really, can't really go wrong there. So the, the squires are just pretty similar. Um, it's just really the neck intonation issues are massive, and the machine heads that just like if you as soon as you advance from just beginning, they're just it's just a nightmare. Um, I would definitely, definitely avoid them. Like you can get away with uh, them as a beginner, but uh, yeah, you deserve better, really. Uh, thanks for listening.